Whoa, I didn't record shit. I said, say less. Recorded a whole video, and my my phone decided to not to agree with my phone and just said, fuck you, and got rid of my video, so now I'm here. <laughs> you want to know how to prep joints? Let me go over how I do it. Uh, I would say I'm going to teach you how, how to do it, but I don't do it the right way, so I'm going to just show you what I do. Before we get started with any of this, go ahead and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Leave a comment. It really helps the YouTube algorithm. Comments and likes and all of that help get the video seen by more people. The way I prep joints is I don't prep joints. I try to find a joint that's closest to what I'm painting, and I go that route. Um, painting and, and sanding joints. Painting is fun. Prepping joints is not fun. I'm going to show you why, for me at least. Um, here's an example. I have uh, my crossbones I did. I, should, I think I've showed you guys to review this. Sanded this right here, and it didn't really do what I wanted it to do, so I just left it alone. Another example, if that was on camera, I'm not sure if it was. Maestro Hulk here. Um, I wasn't trying to prep the joints, but I was trying to sand the joints so they could fit, but it looks like shit. I don't like prepping joints. I don't like the varying degrees of sanding and all of that stuff that goes into it. But if you really want to sand joints, um, if you don't care about the color of the joint, if you don't care about where it's going, how it's going to fit, um, here's a Wolverine leg uh, joint. Here's a Grim Reaper mold. And then you have the basic Spider-Man pizza Spidey mold, I guess. Now, for example, this one is the Speed Demon leg. It, say you wanted to paint this leg black, right? That's how I would do. You want to paint this leg black. Say you want to make whatever character you want to make it whether it's um a, a original character marvel Kirk, dc whatever me personally i would not paint this joint because it's green and i wouldn't want green to show if it rubbed so i would go dark blue or black if i had another black joint please keep in mind that i am not a professional this is just what i would do this is how i do my joints i don't expect everybody to follow this there's better ways to do it so yeah back to the video I would go dark blue just because... Let me move Maestro because he is distracting the hell out of me. I would go blue only because it's closer to black. So if I wanted to paint these joints, um, if I wanted to prep these joints, less prep work goes into painting something that's closer to what you want to paint. So I would I would go dark blue, as I said three, three times. <laughs> dark blue is closer to black. Paint the black um, over this first. You paint this joint first, the blue joint, if it was in here. Paint it... Bend it, see where it rubs, and then you have a base of where you need to sand. You don't always need to sand joints. Sometimes you have these happy, lucky moments where everything works out. Perfect example for me would be on my Venom Pool bath. I didn't have to sand or prep a joint at all. It just, everything just worked out. You want to do light coats because you don't want the, the paint to gum up in the joints. Because if you, that's another way paint rubs off too. You'll have a figure that doesn't paint rub, but you put too much paint on a joint and you you go to pose it and it comes off. So that's just the way I do it. There's plenty of other ways. I will put, if I find it, I have to go on Gornard's page. If I find Gornard's example of it, I'll put it up on the end of the video if y'all stick around. This is not a process I like to do. I don't like to prep joints. It's not fun. It takes too long and it's it's just overdrawn. So I really like to find joints that are close to what I'm painting. For, for example, if I'm painting black, I'm going dark blue. If I was painting any form of green, I would go this way, any form of darker green than this anyway. I'm going this route. If I have to paint red or something, I'm going to find a red joint. If not, most times it's not hard to find red joints, but it's not an easy thing to do. But most times you just have to work with what you got. Prep the joint. You sand it here. I'm using a whole nother leg for y'all. You sand it here. You have to sand in there too. Sand in there too and... You know, it, it's all about testing. So you, what you do is you paint it. I do. I paint these. I paint in here. Close it. I paint in here. Let it dry. Flex the joint to see what rubs. And then you start from there. So most times that works. Most times it doesn't. Uh, I hope that helped y'all. My camera was crooked the whole time. Um, I'm trying to get better at these tutorial videos. But uh, mo most times that works. Most times it doesn't. Like I said, find something that's close to what you're painting. Oh, yeah. One more thing. Most times you paint too. Sometimes, not most. Sometimes you'll have to prep the top of the leg and the upper part of the leg. So this leg, for example, if you were to paint it, say you didn't have any joint rub here and in the front, sometimes the paint will rub right here, if I was on camera. The paint will rub in here. So you'd have to go in there and do the same process. You you take the sandpaper, sand it down. Only because some joints touch. Some joints touch the knee part. 
I don't know why I keep going down here. Some joints touch the knee part. Some joints don't. It all depends. That's why I test things out. I, I use different parts. Like if I know something works together, then that's what I'll use. If I know it doesn't, I'll test it out and try it. If it doesn't work, back to the drum board so I find what I need. If you made it this far, go ahead and check out these videos on the screen. And uh, thanks for watching.